thank you for watching. Thanks for joining us. I hope you're healthy. I hope you had a good weekend. We are coming to you from Hollywood, where a stay-at-home order is in effect. As of midnight last night, every parent in L.A. has been sentenced to three more weeks of Paw Patrol. <laughs> Maybe they can save us, you know? No one is safe from the clutches of COVID, not even the architect of the Donald Trump legal team. We learned yesterday via presidential tweet that Rudy Giuliani has tested positive for the virus. How could this happen? He was being so careful. <laughs> Rudy may have, we may look back and see that he gave his life to overturn the results of this election. <laughs> this tells you all you need to know about what the president cares about. He wrote, at Rudy Giuliani, by far the greatest mayor in the history of New York City and who's been working tirelessly exposing the most corrupt election by far in the history of the USA has tested positive for the China virus. Get better soon, Rudy. We will carry on. And by the way, this is what he said when his son got it. My son Donald is doing very well, thank you. <laughs> Sadly, the, this COVID test is the only positive thing to come out of Rudy Giuliani in four years. He's in the hospital now. He claims he's feeling good. He claims he's recovering quickly. He's feasting on the blood of newborn babies in the maternity ward. <laughs> they had to shut down the Arizona State Legislature because Rudy spent a couple of days there chatting it up maskless with lawmakers. These geniuses even posed for a picture with him. He's gone from America's mayor to America's sprayer. And you know, if... <laughs> Somebody made this story up. We'd say it was too much. It was extreme. But this man has put up some incredible statistics over the past six weeks. October 23rd, we see him on camera playing pocket pool with Borat's daughter. November 7th, he holds a press conference in an alley outside a landscaping business across from a dildo shop. November 19th, motor oil leaks out of his head. December 2nd, he farts loudly during a pretend election hearing in Michigan. They didn't bother to interview a single witness. And here we are now on, on December 7th, and Count Flatula has the coronavirus. Have we ever seen a, a streak like this? I mean, this puts DiMaggio's 56-game hitting streak to shame. Many of the people who came in contact with Rudy Giuliani are now forced to quarantine, including the woman who dyes his sideburns with Hershey's syrup. And, of course... I know you'll join me in wishing Rudy a full and speedy retirement. It will, um, it will be interesting to see how this plays out because assuming Rudy's getting that invitation-only Regeneron treatment the president got, he could come out of this bigger than ever. In fact, there's talk that CBS is in talks to make him TV's hottest new cantankerous defense attorney. The big difference is Matlock won his cases, always. But So anyway, it looks like Rudy's going to be spending some time now doing the other kind of lying, the down kind. You know, there was so much attention on that dizzy blonde lady at the hearing in Michigan last week. She got the full treatment on Saturday Night Live this weekend. We may have overlooked a star of a different type. Her name is Dana Smith. She was also at a Rudy hearing, the one in Georgia. And this woman... I don't know much about her other than the fact that she really knows how to spin a yarn. That rec center used to be a barn that had been converted into this rec center. And so it it's a big hulking building and it was freezing cold when we got in there. An HVAC guy came in and said that someone had shut off the natural gas to the building. Georgia law requires that that electronic equipment be kept in a climate controlled environment which um, having it in a freezing cold building all night long, in my view, does not constitute a climate controlled environment. The Georgia mountains can be pretty chilly, so you probably ought to look into that. Yeah. Well, as the late Johnny Cochran once said, if the machines are chilly, the votes don't count, silly. And this person <laughs> was one of the witnesses claiming shenanigans were afoot, and she had a lot of very interesting things to say. There was a poll watcher walking around with this special ballot paper, taking coffee orders on it, writing down coffee orders on this special 
ballot paper that prints the ballots, those precious ballots, she was taking a coffee order on it. Well, that's it, election overturned. I mean, give it to <laughs> four more years. <laughs> and then even Rudy started to squirm as this woman was going on and on and on. Watch the guy on the left here trying politely to give her the signal to wrap it up. Just sat there watching those ballots. I was not gonna let those out of my sight. Me and another gal named Lori, there was a gal named Gloria, there was an elderly guy that I think had COPD because I brought him his oxygen. I flagged down our supervisor again and said, hey, is somebody bringing those tab locks? And she said, um, Ms. Smith, can you wrap it up for us? Yep. Okay, so she said, we don't need them. Yeah, yeah, that's my time. You guys have been great, thanks a lot. It's what? There's more? Isn't it true that uh, President Trump won that county? I don't give a rip who won. What matters to me is that the people's vote is more protected than their urine. The process is flawed when your urine is more protected than your vote. Okay, on that note, let's take a bathroom break. Uh, <laughs> oh, she's terrific. I wonder if she has a podcast or something. But this is what Trump's clinging to, testimony from crazy people droning on and on and some well-placed bullying. This weekend, Trump called the governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, and reportedly asked him to order a special session of the state legislature to overturn the results of the election that had been certified already. Kemp, who has been a bigly supporter of the president, said, I I'm sorry, I don't have the legal authority to do that. And so, of course, Trump lashed out viciously at him. He even went to Georgia to lash out viciously at him. I love the fact that this dummy Brian Kemp, for years he bowed to tree, got down on his knees, and he surrendered whatever wisps of integrity his supporters thought he had to this reality show buffoon. And now his reward is Trump travels to his state to call him a stupid, worthless criminal who should be removed from office. That's what we call loyalty, Donald Trump style. <laughs> Governor Kemp did not attend Trump's rally on Saturday. Trump visited the state purportedly to promote the two Republican candidates for Senate in the runoff election, but that turned into a presidential pity party almost right away. They want you to be quiet. They want you to go away, but we don't go away. We don't go away. We will never surrender. We will only win. We're gonna win. We always win. Somehow we find a way to win because we're all, we're all victims. Everybody here, all these thousands of people here tonight, they're all victims, every one of you. Yeah, that's right. Every one of you not wearing a mask is a victim. <laughs> what an inspiring message on Pearl Harbor Day from our commander in chief. Trump had a lot to say this weekend in Georgia, so we slowed him down to half speed for one of what will probably be a few remaining editions of Drunk Donald Trump. Cucumbers. Who, gra who does cucumbers around here? Because I like cucumbers. Can you? I'm the only one. I like cucumbers. He likes, he likes cucumbers. The state of Georgia recertified their results today, and guess what? Joe Biden won again. So Trump is yet to concede. He will never concede. This is day 34 of Squattergate. Today, he awarded the Medal of Freedom, which is a great honor to the wrestling champion, Dan Gable. And you're not going to believe this. Somehow, he managed to make that about him, too. He won 117 consecutive matches and lost only one. Well, you know, in politics, I won two, so I'm 2-0, and oh, and uh, that's pretty good, too. But we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> He's going to be the only president to award himself the Presidential Medal of Freedom. <laughs> he's milking this for every drop. There are reports that he's planning a big TV send-off for himself. One scenario they say is being discussed is on January 20th, Trump would fly to Florida on Air Force One to have a rally at the exact same time as Biden's inauguration speech. I wonder if you realize that as, as of 20. 20th of January, he doesn't get to ride on Air Force One anymore. It's not his plane. The minute Joe Biden puts his hand on that Bible, I hope, uh, I, I hope they hand him a, a parachute and open the door of the plane. <laughs> Everyone in the trump reverse is making a run for it. There are reports that Attorney General Bill Barr might quit before the end of the year. Barr says he wants to spend more time organizing his drawer of armpit-stained undershirts. <laughs> and... But one guy who isn't going, thank you.
goodness is Dr. Anthony Fauci. Fauci said he has been contacted by the new administration to stay on and that he would like to stay on as COVID continues to hit new highs in this country. They're saying we could be in for a frightening Christmas this year. A lot of hospitals are on the verge of being overwhelmed. And when families gather indoors, bad things happen. So in addition to new warnings from the CDC, the National Institute of Health is turning now to private industry to help keep safety at top of mind this holiday season. Elf on a Shelf keeps kids on their best behavior during the holidays. But in 2020, there's a whole new set of guidelines. Introducing Fauci on a Couchy, the holiday helper that keeps COVID in check. Hey, 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 excuse me. Don't go outside without your mask. <sighs> Nothing escapes Dr. Fauci's watchful eye. <gasps> hey! Sneeze into your elbow. We don't want flying droplets. You never know where he'll pop up next. Ah, ah, ah. You only washed your hands for 14 seconds. Sing the happy birthday song twice. Happy birthday to you. Sing it with me. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday to you. Each one handcrafted and actual size. And once everyone's snug in bed, Fauci on a Couchy dispenses antibacterial mist to sanitize the entire house. But don't let Fauci catch you spreading misinformation. My daddy says the virus is a hoax perpetrated by the deep state. Whoa. And the vaccine has tiny microchips that will contract. CDC you later. Keep your kids COVID safe this season with Fauci on a Couchy. From the makers of Pence on a Fence, Huckabee in a Tree, Mueller on a Crawler, Comey on a Pony, Kellyanne in a Garbage Can, and the soon-to-be-discontinued Trump on a Stump. Fauci on a Couchy. Available at Costco. Whoa, whoa! Avoid Costco at all costs. Stay home. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.